Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually gonna be a little haul video about these products right here, which are some products that I treated myself to. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me and you read the back of every single product that you apply on your face. I am such a nerd, whether it's something that I'm applying on my face or my body, a hand cream, a body cream, an eye cream, makeup, I'm big on labels and I read every single ingredient and in every single product. And if you guys are like me, you'll notice that normally towards the top, water is one of the very first ingredients and whatever is at the top of that list is what is mostly in that product now water you would think is always the same but i don't know if you guys have seen these kiosks in the mall because this is where my interest started they are always pushing these dead sea minerals products so i did a little bit of research and i'm like what is so special about dead sea water and actually dead sea water comes like from a very very deep part of the ocean and it's supposed to be very different than regular water it's supposed to have very moisturizing qualities to it so I did treat myself to some Dead Sea mineral products and I actually have a little demo set right here which actually has pure Dead Sea water in it and then regular water so you guys can actually see the difference or that I can see the difference and um, this is from a company called Ahava and basically when you open this up it has a little syringe and I just apply some right on my hand just like that it feels just like water at first this is the Dead Sea water when I go like this and smooth it on, it's so weird because it does not feel like water at all. It's very emollient and um, it has a slip to it. I don't wanna say that it feels greasy, but it just feels very, very hydrating. Like I feel my skin soaking it up. Opposed to if I use the regular water right here, if I can open up this dropper. Okay, and when I apply this water on, you can actually see how it just slid right off my hand it doesn't have any moisturizing qualities to it at all. It has a very different feeling. It's very thin. It's just a very, very different feeling than the Dead Sea Mineral Water. So basically, that is the whole concept behind this Dead Sea Mineral Water. So the products in Ahava's line basically all have this water in it. Water is still at the very top of the ingredients, but all their products are infused with this Dead Sea Mineral Water instead of just any regular old water. So the first thing that I wanted to try was a really good hand cream because during this time of the month or actually not really during this time but right in the dead smack of winter is when my hands get so so dry and cracked and I am big on lotions body lotions and hand lotions so I did want to try the one by Ahava and it is called their Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream it smells so fresh and clean and it actually contains witch hazel in it, which is very good for your skin as well. I really do like this hand cream a lot and it has become a part of my every single morning routine. I'm very weird in the way that I cannot leave the house without lotion and I can't leave the house without perfume, but that is another story. And speaking of perfume, the next product that I picked up is not really a perfume. It's actually called the Dry Oil Body Mist and I love dry oils. I have just gotten into dry oils in the past couple of years and I'm not going to lie to you guys. I just thought that it was a very sexy product like during the summertime because it gives kind of like a sheen and a glow to the skin I love applying it onto my legs and onto my chest on my shoulders It just gives a really nice glow So the one by Ahava actually has a beautiful scent to it It's called cactus and pink pepper and when I first saw this online, I'm like pink pepper That sounds like it's gonna have a spicy type of scent to it. I didn't think I was really gonna like it But it doesn't at all. I'm going to spray it and I actually don't, oh my god, it has like a very beautiful floral scent to it. I don't know if pink pepper is the actual scent, but it smells delicious. It smells like a cologne that I would invest in, or not a cologne, a perfume. I don't know why I called it a cologne. But basically, I would not apply it the way that I just did now. What I like to do is when I get out of the shower, I spray it on my body, and it gives your body a gorgeous, gorgeous glow. This is like a must-have summer item for me. It's filled with antioxidants in it, jojoba oil, vitamin E, all these beautiful ingredients that help nourish your skin to soften it and also give a really nice glow while leaving behind a really nice subtle scent. So I like to apply this every single day after getting out of my shower. It smells absolutely delicious. And the last two products that I decided to pick up are right here. This is the Dead Sea Osmotor Concentrate, which is a moisture and radiance boosting serum. And then once I pick this one up, I'm like, okay, I need the one for underneath my eyes because that is definitely one of my problem areas when it comes to dryness. So I picked up the Youth and Cellular Energizing Serum and it says that they recharge, rehydrate, and illuminate. 
powered by a triple concentration of Ahava's proprietary Osmotor, applied generously before moisturizer AM and PM. I don't even want to lie to you guys, I do tend to neglect my skin during the winter time. Yes, my skin gets very dry and flaky, but it's covered up by clothing, so I kind of don't really care that much. But as we go into the springtime and then going into the summer, it gets a lot warmer. We start showing a little bit more skin, and I feel like a beautiful, moisturized, glowing skin is like the most beautiful, sexy thing ever. So this is definitely the time of year that I start taking care of my body once again, even though that is kind of embarrassing to admit. I know that I am not the only one. I would like to say that I do shave my legs all year round and I know that there's a lot of girls because I personally have a lot of friends that only shave during the summertime when their legs are showing I'm not that bad so I don't feel too bad anyway so that is a little haul that I decided to treat myself to if you guys have any questions at all let me know I will have all these products listed down below and as well as a little bit more information about every single one of them thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Mwah.